Hi there, my name is Azad Bardon. Welcome to chapter number one of React Quickly. In this chapter, I will highlight some of the benefits of using React.js. So let's start with number one, simplicity. So in computer science and software engineering, simplicity means that your systems, your application are more scalable, they're better in the long term. So simple systems usually tend to be way better than complex systems. Now, simple doesn't mean easy. So sometimes to implement a simple system, it's actually more effort and more work, but in the long term, it's always better. So how React achieves the simplicity? So number one, it uses component-based architecture. So by building small components and the component, it's a um, specific block of functionality and the representation bundled together. So by building UI components and by using component-based architecture, React applications and React user interfaces tend to be simpler. The second thing that React embraces is a declarative style. So in imperative, we tell software, we tell computers what to do step by step. For example, it's like a recipe when you're cooking. So you have step one, step two, step three, step four, etc. So you're telling the system exactly what it needs to do in order to accomplish your goal. You don't have a notion of the end result. The end result is kind of assumed. Contrast that with the declarative approach. In the declarative approach, it's more like a cookbook where I see the picture, I see the end result. And then it's basically, or it's like a restaurant. In a restaurant, I see a picture, I see the menu in an item, in a menu, and then the chef in a restaurant is cooking that for me. I don't tell the chef, hey, do this 10 steps in order to cook me a nice steak. They already know what to do. All I need to do is just tell them the end result that I want. So that's your declarative style. With declarative style in React.js, we can write simpler code and it will be easier to read and easier to reason about, easier to maintain in the long term. Then the last element that makes React simple, it's actually you don't have to learn a new language. That's right. You don't have to learn special syntax. You don't have to learn any magic, any conventions. There are some conventions, but the number of them is very few. So basically what you do in React, you use pure JavaScript. So you can leverage the JavaScript to create different sorts of visual UI descriptions. Contrast that with using a framework like Angular or Backbone.js or Ember. They leverage uh, certain templating engines, template engines, libraries. And those libraries, basically, they're the main specific languages which you must learn as a developer and you end up with uh, additional requirement additional dependency it's a cognitive task and it basically slows you down and uh, it makes the learning course steeper because uh, that's additional thing that you need to master in order to be proficient with react there is no such requirement because we're using javascript okay so another benefits of course React is very, very fast. In fact, it's so fast that it's basically almost like a magic. It's almost like a magic and it has this thing, it's called virtual DOM. I will explain in the text more about how the virtual and what is it, the virtual DOM. But the basic idea is that you render your stuff, your UIs in the virtual DOM. You don't render them in the real DOM right away. And the rendering in the virtual DOM tends to be way, way, way faster. And it's so great, actually, uh, that we can do it pretty much all the time because it's so fast, it's so effective. But the actual DOM, that's the expensive stuff. That's what takes time. That's a bottleneck, basically. And uh, we basically try to postpone. React tries to postpone it as much as possible, do only the minimum necessary stuff. And the way it does it, the way it knows when to actually go and uh, change something in the real DOM versus uh, not changing it because the changes are not visible, they shouldn't be in the real DOM, it's uh, by using the reconciliation process. So we have a special algorithm, sometimes it's called smart diffing algorithm. And uh, once React renders the virtual DOM, it goes 
It has the real down, it has the virtual, it reconciles, it looks, okay, so this is delta, this is the change. Now I might go ahead and uh, update the real down if I need to. If no, then that's fine too. That's even faster, it's more optimal. And the third benefit, and one personal, one of my favorite benefits, we need to write less code. We as developers need to write less code. I think that is fantastic. If only for one reason, I would use React for that. The ecosystem is so great. You can go Google. There are a whole lot of modules and libraries you can use. Now the ecosystem even started to provide different rendering targets. So what is happening? React becomes this core library in which you describe your user interfaces using this declarative approach, using JavaScript, which we all love. And then you have a lot of different targets, rendering targets. So you can render in different places like iOS, Android, Canvas, D3, etc., etc. And also the ecosystem is so good. So you can just go and download a component like tape picker, autocomplete, etc., etc. Material UI, Twitter Bootstrap. So you type less code, the component-based architecture allows other developers to make uh, contributions and to basically reuse that code, dry, don't repeat yourself, right? This is one of the most important concepts in uh, software engineering. So those are the three benefits for you as a developers and uh, they're uh, implemented for certain features and some of the features like component-based architecture contributing to uh, multiple benefits such as writing less code and also uh, making React simpler. There are few uh, disadvantages of using React. Obviously, nothing is perfect. One of them being that the, the React is not that mature. It's been around only for a couple of years. So the tooling is not as perfect as in some of the mature libraries. The interface of the library itself is changing faster. So that's one of the disadvantages. And uh, that's pretty much some the whole chapter, uh, you can go ahead and read. I have more details. I ha also have a small code example of the hello world. Or you can skip to the next chapter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.